Hi, my name is Anatoly. I am a, a design director here at Hyperfocus and I was involved uh, from the beginning. My name is Paul. I was the creative director on Undiscovered. Undiscovered is a recruitment website and um, there's one guy at the center of it actually called Matthew who um, has a certain look about him. He always wears a hat and that was one of the inspirations to uh, the design. Hi, I'm Zhang. Uh, my digital project name is Gideon and I'm the design director at Hyperfocus and in this uh, undiscovered project I'm also working as a design director for the brand. The challenges uh, we face as a team is we want to keep it real, um, authentic and appealing um, with the target um, of the brand and also uh, be true with the, the founder of the company. I'm Magnus and I do the motion design for the Undiscovered project. My experience, so I had to animate the character, um, one of the first characters I've animated so far. And it was quite fun because it's a simple character but that's the hard point because you have to bring some emotions into the into the character without using that much and that was the biggest part. So the, the character became a manifestation of a detective although in the beginning he wasn't really a detective he was just um, a kind of a representation of the founder which is Matthew who's synonymous with wearing uh, this kind of pork pie hat as we call it and our thoughts behind the brand were to create um, a character that went to extreme lengths, went to the ends of the earth to find the very best talent, to find the very best jobs. And we wanted to tell the story through all the different scenarios that this character got up to. On his, her, we've not quite decided, um, journey, adventure to find those jobs. And he, she, they would go to any lengths to make that happen. The simpleness of the character is the hardest part because you have like one body and eyes and also the head, but the head is attached to the body all the time. So you have to work with motions for the body to um, have some emotions and I think that's the hardest part because it's like having one hand and you have to press it right. I think first it's like you you have to uh, do your homework first like uh, do the research to see what kind of like other competitors of the brand um, look like and how what is the desirable brand of in HR service that what they are doing um, right now and from that research we will decide what kind of like trait um, design details or characteristic we should put into the design. So actually trying to convince a client that they can trust in your method and trust in the bigger picture that you have uh, for the project and that can be very very scary for a client it can be very daunting for somebody to move away from their comfort zone. And their, their comfort zone was, this is my company, this is my name, this is what I'm known for. And we wanted to completely change and revolutionize everything by changing the name, coming up with a whole new brand. And I think that's one of the most challenging things with any project is to get the client to believe in where you're going with this. I, I have learned that uh, what you plan, you should be uh, strict with your vision, but be flexible in execution. This is what I learned. Um, I will explain in detail. So be sure and be strict with your vision because um, the visions to deliver the brand strategy, um, the client's uh, needs need to be delivered by the end of the day, but flexible in execution. For example, during we develop the character, the application for the brand, we will see like what we can be able to do, uh, what should be explore more, uh, and that is the journey you never know during the design process. You can always deliver something beyond your uh, plan. 
Today, it is really, really important as a brand to stand out, to be polarizing and to make a statement. There's so many brands out there, we're so used to seeing brands on a daily basis. And we wanted to create something that people just couldn't help but be intrigued by, want to uh, experience, want to take something away from. And earlier I talked about the shareability and lovability is to want to tell other people about it, to, to give the same experience that they have using the product, using the platform, experiencing the brand, and to be able to share that with, with others. Uh, so this is not an advertising video for sure, um, but I do think that the brand is fun, is fun and HR brand could be brand for HR service could be very fun and authentic as well. I was saying this today earlier actually um, to Anatoly and I was saying that it's not about the outcome, it's about how we get to the outcome. So it's the relationships, the decision making, the whole process and the ideation that makes the project. The outcome is just one part of it. Yeah, coming together and, and creating something and building um, a relationship and building an experience is like um, the, the thing that we're, we're aiming to, uh, to do. Mm. Oh, it's a difficult one in one sentence. Um, have, uh, have fun to find new things. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Mm, what's a brand without motion? <laughs> a brand. <laughs> Discover what is undiscovered. <laughs>